it blew like blew my mind okay blew my mind now i love this hi guys oh my gosh i'm so excited to film this video you're gonna laugh at me this is actually funny because basically and um, when my channel didn't have much subscribers whenever i did videos on books no one would watch them and i'd get really sad because if you know me personally i adore reading i love reading books if you go into my instagram highlights i've read I just love reading, okay? So whenever I did the YouTube videos, I didn't get much views. Like, I'd never get feedback, so I thought people wouldn't want to see them. So I got sad, because I couldn't do any videos on books. <laughs> but then I got it. I started getting Instagram messages from people being like, do videos on your favourite books. I got so much requests on, like, your favourite books. And I was like, yes! I can do videos on books. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I just love, I love reading. So in this video, I'm going to do my top three favorite law of attraction books. And I'm going to do more on like self-development, but these are more law of attraction. But it's funny because none of them actually mention the word law of attraction in them. Like none of them are actually like saying this is about law of attraction, but they all really make you understand the more scientific version of it. So that if you're a full-time skeptic, you'll ease into it much smoother and much easier if you read these books. So I'm super excited. I'm going to get them now. So, of course, the most famous one is The Secret the Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Um, for me, I read it and I didn't believe any of it to be true because I was a skeptic at the time. So I personally think if you don't, if you think it's all woo-woo, that probably isn't the best book to read first off because it's very like, it just seems too good to be true, right? So when I tell you these books, if you are a skeptic, I think these are great books to get into it. Also, if you aren't a skeptic and you want to learn, these books are also just absolutely incredible and they're very well known we're gonna go in order from the not the worst to the best because they're all amazing but like my favorites in order so the first one is you're a badass at making money by jen sincero now she has two other ones i've read her yellow one i actually lent it to a friend before quarantine um you're a badass at life or something like that but i love this one because I believe everyone has a fear of money a lot of people have a money mindset lack afraid of money when they talk about money they kind of ants up it's like a thing in society where it's not normal to talk about money but like if you heard me my best friend's voice messages we're just talking about figures 24 7 like I think it should be normalized like it's Anyway, th th this is besides the point. Basically, if you have a fear of money or you don't feel like you're worthy of money or that money isn't gonna come into your life, this is the book for you. And I'm gonna tell you a quick story. So when I first started my coaching business, I was struggling to even get one client. Like I couldn't get a client for the life of me. I read this book, I implemented everything it did. And two days later, I got my first client, which manifested a, a, good, sum of, a good sum of money, okay? And I truly believe it is because I put down the principle she uses the, the, in this to attract that client into my life uh, by switching my energy and how I was viewing my circumstances. So this book is insane. I'll read the back. So it's um, how to uncover what's holding you back from making money. Give your doubts, fears, and excuses the heave-ho. Relate to money in a new and lucrative way. Shake up the cocktail of creation. Creation, see law of attraction. Tap into your natural ability to grow rich. Shape re your reality. Stop playing victim to circumstance and get, get as wealthy as you want to be. This book is amazing. And the thing I love about this book is she is hilarious. I think, um, I could be daydreaming, but I'm pretty sure she was like an author before she came like a life coach. Like she's, um she was like a writer so the way she writes it is just so funny and it's not it's not serious it's not like a very serious scientific like do -do -do -do. it's very uh, humorous so if you like fiction this will be one of your the best books because there's so much stories in this and the way she says everything is hilarious it's just for the uh, not the average person but this anyone can read this it's just an awesome book every time i read this book i manifest money into my life in just weird ways that i have no way to explain except changing my relationship with money because I think it is an ever ongoing process with money. You need to treat treat money like it's your boyfriend. You know, like if you were like your boyfriend, when are you coming over? When are you coming over? When are you coming? Um, they would almost resent you because they're getting frustrated how much you're asking. So you need to treat it like you're chilled with money. Money comes easily, effortlessly, flows to me. And it works, it really does. So this book is awesome. I always read this and then I always just have such a quantum shift when it comes to money. I just love this book. I would highly recommend it. I much preferred this than her other ones just because it's more of a specific topic. Um, which is money and I think it's a huge thing people should be practicing more of as their money mindset. So yeah, I love this book. And the second book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This is a classic. I adore Bob Proctor. He is like the king of law of vibration, law of attraction. He's from Toronto as well, which is super cool. 
um because i live there but this book is just incredible this is by napoleon hill and i love this because it basically explains about how we can think our way into being rich or we can think our way into achieving anything that we want because everything starts in our mind everything starts as a thought law of attraction law of vibration it all starts up here um, and what we focus on tends to grow so we basically did a case study of he interviewed so much successful people and they all had the same pattern, which was their mindsets. And this is one of the oldest self-development books out there, but it is one of the best because the principles and the tools are so stripped back and just the raw basic truth because it's it was studied so long ago, right? So I just adore this book. And there is a bunch of principles in the book that you follow. So there are 16 principles. So the first one is the power of thought. The second is desire, the starting point of all achievement, which is so true. I believe if you don't have desire and you don't make a decision that it's gonna come true, it's kind of, anyway. Uh, faith, so visualizing and believing in the attainment of desire. Autosuggestion, so the medium for influencing the subconscious mind. Specialized knowledge, so personal experiences or observations. Imagination, organized planning, the crystallization of desire into action. See what I did there, action. Decision, the mastery of pro procrastination, persistence, power of the mastermind, mystery of sex transmutation, which was a really interesting topic, by the way. The conscious mind, the connecting link. Anyway, it goes on, but I mean, even just reading those principles out, this is the Bible. This is the Bible if you're wanting to start a business, if you're wanting to attract love into your life, if you're wanting to get your hella good body. This is the book for you because it just, it gives you a crash course in your mindset. I'm just reading back the principles and I didn't, I, I, I feel like I, I forgot how good this was. I'm like, wow, this is actually really good. So this is the Bible and Bob Proctor carries this around with him every day. He says that every morning he just opens around a page and studies it. So I just adore that. I think this is a great book. I've had three copies of this book. I have one back in Ireland. I bought one for my mum and I have this one here and I've read this more times than you can count. Yeah, it's a great, 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 great book. And then the last one. I love this and guys I only got this book two weeks ago which says a lot for me because if you know me and you watch my videos I read constantly and my brother ordered this he Amazon this to my place back home and I was like why do you order this book he's like I think you'd like it so I read it and it blew like blew my mind okay it blew my mind now I don't know if it's just because I've been introduced to the topic of trans surfing because there is more books that are way bigger than this but I think it's just because I've been introduced to the whole concept of it that I find this book so fascinating but this is called trans surfing in 78 days practice practical course in creating your own reality by Vadim Zeland I kid you not I put this on my story and I've been getting screenshots from people in the past week saying they bought this book because of how much I was vouching for it I think it's incredible so this book breaks down the trans surfing principles trans surfing is a powerful tool for creating your own reality when you apply these basic basic principles you will gain the power to change your destiny if even if you are totally new to the principles of trans surfing you can complete the course on creating your own reality in just 78 days the knowledge you gain from this course will open your eyes to your everyday life you will come to understand that physical reality does not exist as a set phenomenon in and of itself and there's more to it but what I've been doing every morning is I've been opening it at a random page and following that principle because there's 78 principles so each morning let's say I'll see this principle is called the charismatic soul okay and it tells you the principle and the interpretation and then you go about your day using that and putting it into action so you actually can practice it but there was just so many groundbreaking things in this book and it's so short it's only like 100 pages I'm like getting excited I can't stop talking talking about this book it's so good um, but there was a few things that I really took away from this which I would actually like to speak about but trans surfing is basically saying that we have how we view reality is is not real like it's all an illusion right so whatever way you view the universe that's what it's going to reflect back to you so if you think the world is an awful shocking terrible place I think a lot of people are trying to be in victim mode right now in quarantine if you think it's going to be an awful crappy world that's what the universe shows back to you like that's whatever you believe the mirror is going to reflect that right so whatever you believe you're correct so if you think the world is awful you're correct if you think the world is an incredible place and anyone could be rich you're correct because that's what it's going to shine back on you and it's all the power of you know we have a different types of identities and whatever one we choose to be that's um we have all these realities formed and it's who we 
decide to step into be that we can create these these worlds technically we've been given the gift of an imagination okay that is the thing we are so lucky for and so much people take for granted is the fact that we have an imagination and it's saying that we he likes to look at the world as a playground and we as humans have been given the imagination so that we can create life we can create anything from up here out to here and the playground is the world like we get to choose whatever it is we want to do the world is our oyster right so it's basically saying, you know, all our thoughts and how we view and perceive the world is what's going to create our world. And I just think this book blew my mind. I would highly, highly suggest this book. I just, I can't get enough of this. And I only got it two weeks ago and that just, that says a lot coming from me. It's awesome. I definitely want to look more into transurfing. At, at the start of it, I found it quite difficult to read. Um, it's just very intense, but it's very, very good. If the future is not predetermined, there is always reason to hope for the best possible outcome. The task of transurfing is not to look regretfully at the past or even to peer apprehensively into a tomorrow, which is yet to come, but shape intentionally your own reality today. I just think that's so powerful. This, this is definitely, now this is the Bible for me. Those are the three books, I mean, Again, I was saying this one's more for money mindset, of course, and then think and grow rich. You can apply this to health, wealth, relationships, happiness, um, living the life you want to live. And then transurfing is just almost like the deeper, more spiritual version of this. So I'd highly recommend them. I've linked all of these down below that you can check out. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I want to let you guys know that I have a three-part training down below, free on how to manifest your desires and why your dreams aren't manifesting yet or why you might be creating a lot of blockages in order to attract that into your life. And then also I have the goal get our mindset academy down below it's basically an academy on how to step into the person you want to become in order to attract and draw that all back into your life so thank you so much for watching you can check out my podcast my instagram everything down below and i love you with all my heart have a fantastic day and let me know if you try out these books or let me know your favorite books down below in the comments i would love to know